Khan presenting our plastic surprises. We have made this presentation especially for you. So enjoy! Hi, I'm Tanusha. This is my video for activity C.6 which is plastic surprises. Plastics are one of the most versatile materials ever developed by humanity. The material is with us everywhere in solid objects. Most paper food containers that appear to be coated in wax are actually coated with PE plastic. I just came to a realization that choosing paper plates does not necessarily mean plastic free. Thank you for watching. Makeup glitter. Glitter is made from sheets of plastic. So yes, you are dousing your face with microplastic and you probably know how hard it is to get rid of it. Fabulous on the eyes, but forever in the seas. Make sure you are not washing glitter down the drain when you remove it. Or better yet, check out Bio Glitter Pure. The first 100% certified biodegradable and microplastic free glitter. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everyone. I'm Arena Kale. Today I'm doing 3.6 plastic surprises. Every single drink can on the market is slammed with a plastic resin, usually epoxy, to stop the drink contained within corroding the aluminium. Without the epoxy shield, a can of coke would corrode in three days. Roughly 80% of the epoxy is bisphenol A or BPA for short. BPA has been associated with a myriad of negative health implications. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everyone, this is mine for C.6 Plastic Surprises. Metalized films are widely used for decorative purpose and food packaging. Laminated metalized films materials create a double layer of insulation to protect your product when packaged. For food packaging, aluminum foil is typically laminated with plastic. A potato chip bag is a good example. Even a metalized film was designed to be very light. But its lightweight makes it more expensive to recycle. Bye everyone! Hi, I am Lara Emeline. This is my video for activity C6 Plastic Surprises. Many use product labels or stickers, just like the stickers on these fruits. These stickers and labels are typically made with virgin plastic. Even paper-based stickers and labels arrive on a released liner, which is generally made with 100% virgin, super calendered paper that contains a silicon, i.e. plastic-based coating. Raise your hand if you've ever accidentally eaten the little produce sticker on an apple. Eating a PLU sticker won't kill you, but it is not edible and advised against consuming it. These stickers are typically made with a thin layer of plastic, most commonly vinyl. Plastic is functionally important because it means the stickers can better withstand water, sprays, transit and packaging as it moves from the producer to the shipper to the retail. But the use of vinyl and other thin plastic films means these stickers do not compost or biodegrade and you should remove the sticker before composting. Vinyl stickers are extremely toxic to produce and even more toxic to consume. When a vinyl sticker breaks down, it leaves behind tiny pieces of microplastics that ultimately pollute our land and water. Ways. Unfortunately, people often don't know this, including myself, but now I know. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Loshna. My video for C6 Plastic Surprises shows plastic materials which are found in animal food products. Examples of animal food such as canned food and pellets. These are how animals are tagged at the abattoir. And these materials such as gloves and tags are not removed at times, causing plastic pollution in pets at home from consumption of pet food. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Emma Zhang and this is my video for C6 Plastic Surprises. The items that I chose for this video are tea bags. Most people do not know that tea bags can release up to 11.3 billion microplastics and 3.6 billion nanoplastics. 
Nanoplastics can penetrate human flesh. Even if the materials used in tea bags are not plastic, the glue holding them together is. If you are an avid tea drinker, you may be drinking up to a two by two Lego brick worth of plastic per week. Oftentimes, it is hard to tell if your tea bag contains plastic, like these two. If so, you can try to rip the edges or burn them. This is a paper tea bag. It rips easily. This is a very plasticky tea bag. It feels silky and is does not rip easily. The easiest way to avoid this problem is to use loose leaf tea. This tea does not come in any type of tea bag, so there is no question on whether it is plastic or paper. You will have to use a metal uh, container to steep your tea, or you can use something like a French press or a tea gadget that you can get online. Plus it smells really good. Bye!